Hi there, Martin Priestley here from Urban Wildlife Tips and today I'm going to be talking about moth traps and the extra bits. Let me explain. Right, in my uh, last uh, video, um, Moth Trapping for Beginners, I spoke mainly about two books, which are X books. Uh, first of all, we've got the, uh, the um, Field Guide Moths of Great Britain, which is a macro moth book, excellent for uh, field identification and also the micro ones, again an excellent uh, uh, book. But, however there's two other uh, moth books that uh, seem to be sometimes a little bit forgotten uh, and that is The British Moths, a photographic guide to moths of Britain and Ireland by the excellent Chris Manley, that's number one. And the other book is um, Britain's Daytime Moths um, and if you like me, um, that's a real big part of my mothing moth trapping at night and uh, finding daytime moths during the day. So let's start with the, the British moths uh, first of all. So it's a high quality um, photographic uh, book of macro moths, micro moths and also some leaf mines as well. It's an excellent con concise reference book um, and especially for uh, because it contains live uh, moths photographed in natural situations so if you think about it when you're taking your moth and you photograph it photographed it you can compare and the photographs are really true to to uh, to life so you get a really good comparison um, for your ID let's just have a quick look inside it um, there's some excellent pages at the, the, at the front all about photographing uh, uh, the moths um, Really good information, but I mean, if you look at some of the plates here, right, let's just look at the hawk moths. I mean, some of those uh, are, are stunning photographs. You'll also notice as well, which is a really good point, I think, is that all the moths face to the right. Now, if you think about it, a little tip here, if you take your photograph and your moth is facing to the right, you can actually compare it above and below and yet, as I said before you're getting very very accurate photographs. I use it, um, a no I've used it a number of times uh, for that difficult uh, ID maybe of a, a very similar species or a difficult species to identify and sometimes a little clincher can be in here. So to summarise um, I use this book purely and simply as a reference guide in my, in my study where I look at my moths and identify a, a difficult moths. It's not a field guide, it's not to be taken outside, that's in my, my opinion. You may notice that this is the second edition. Now there is a third edition out. Now you might say, hang on a minute, where well, he's got a sec uh, third edition. Well let me just say, my birthday is coming up soon, so you can tell, you can see what I'm going to get for my birthday. It's a must for any moth's library. So the second book then uh, is this daytime uh, moth book, and as, as I said to you before, if you're interested in moths, there's nothing more uh, pleasing than to go out on on, the, on during the day on a countryside walk and try and find different moths. Um, It gives a, a brief description about uh, about the moth, and once again, like I said before in the other book, in my view, it's a live uh, moth taken in natural surroundings, and you can compare really well with your photograph that you've got because it will be a live moth. Um, there's all sorts of interesting information, and also the food plant, and also relating to the larva uh, of the uh, of the uh, moth. Which is again is important because if you find a caterpillar or a larva, right? Um, I've got a book here, um, again, which is really useful. Simple, uh, simply look at here on, on all about the different larvae, the caterpillars. Then you can prove that the actual species is breeding uh, in that particular location. But um, a very, very uh, concise, uh, um, good book, plenty of reading. Uh, and especially if you're a beginner. Um, this is a, a, a must of a book. And as well, 
um, it's polythene backed so you can take it out it'll fit into your pocket uh, very easily so uh, a really good book now then one thing I would like to say um, about daytime uh, moths uh, is what I do and I I have started now going out with a, a sweep net um, this is my sweep net um, it's a very simple one but it's a good one um, and you have some real fun with this but not only that as well you can catch a lot of uh, moths um, if anybody wants me to bring a video out about how you do that and how you catch them and how you pop them up leave me a comment and I'll um, I'll, I'll see what I can do and put them together so um, as I said to you before this is the first of two uh, videos uh, entitled uh, moth trapping the extra bit so look out for the next video um, where we'll be doing some more interesting things so for now see you later good mothing bye bye